Welcome back. You are tuned in to the Undrafted All-Stars Podcast Show. I am your host. I am a Big Sugar, a.k.a. Sugar Dosha the Great, a.k.a. Mr. Tell Your Friends About Me. I'm here chilling in the hooch on the last day of Black History Month. Why they only give us 28 days? <laughs> you know why. But I'm sure many of us will be celebrating our blackness for the rest of the year. Shout out to all black people. Happy Black History Month, everybody. Welcome back. In today's show, we will be talking about Mark Madison in February. <laughs> Grambling State hires Hugh Jackson as the head coach. Then he hires some other ones. Got your mind, you? We're gonna talk about Russia invading the Ukraine for a quick minute. Draymond Green returns back to practice. James Harden, Joel Embiid, the new dynamic duo. We're gonna talk about John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies. Put some respect on their name. Kyrie could be playing home games soon. They can lose to the Pelicans in a blowout at home. We're going to talk about all that shit. Stay tuned. February, last day of the month. Let's talk about last Saturday real quick. For the first time ever, number one, who number six, lost on the road. Number one, Gonzaga. All the same era, 67-57. Arizona, lost to Colorado, 79-63. Auburn, funky ass. Lost to Tennessee, 67-62. Her dude lost to Michigan State. 68 65. In that, Tom Izzo, shout out. Ty Bobby Knight in wins in the Big Ten, 662. Ty most in the Big, Big Ten history. Kentucky loses to Arkansas, 75 73. That was some good. Villanova lost on Thursday. They were number eight. They lost to UConn, 71 69. And Texas Tech lost last Tuesday. Duke was the only one to win in the top 10. And Bailey was number 10. They beat Kansas. That was number 5. Crazy! You gotta take all them dogs. You've been paid. Still, Gonzaga's number 1. Arizona's still number 2. But Bailey is 3. Duke is 4. I might have joined John Hoyas real quick, man. 6-22 on the season. 0-17 in the conference, dog. They don't lost 18 in a row. And Patrick Ewing is the coach. I love sitting along my alumni going back to their schools and coaching like Ewing, like Joan, and even like other cats are going back to coach at other schools or even giving back. Same time. Patrick Ewing, you ain't getting a job done, bro. A Georgetown legend, a New York Knicks legend. That don't mean you can coach though. They about to fire your ass, bro. You ain't getting the job done. You won the Big East last season, and your last this season. You might, might get to keep your job. I don't know. You are passing you on, but we'll see. We're gonna talk about Gravity State University. Tigers, HBCU high, Hugh Jackson, 
the head coach of the football team. Former Cleveland Brown head coach Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson went one and thirty-one, y'all, with the Browns. Now one win with versus the Chargers and the Browns only one because the Chargers missed the field goal at the end of the game. They could have been zero and thirty-two. <laughs> but Charlie Hugh Jackson got a job at Grambling State. HBCU, but your boy. <laughs> Woo, he hired he hi, our brows. Gonna cut to the chase. Our brows, four days later. He hired our brows at Albany School. Our brows is white. They ain't got to do with shit. They ain't got nothing to do with what his color is, but it is Black History Month! <laughs> it is HBCU. You gonna see me tell me all them coaches out there? Can't nobody offense call on you at Grandma, but all right, bro. But that ain't the reason I'm picking on our bro. Everybody know why. If y'all don't want to tell you, our brows. Well, he was at Baylor. He was a good coach, but he had knowledge and mishandled sexual allegations, sexual assault allegations by student athletes uh, that was on his team. Back in 2016, he was suspended first, then he fired later. And coached in college since. I think he coached at a high school, Mount Vernon, somewhere. But nowhere in college. But your boy Hugo fire him out of all the people that's out there that's qualified. We just got done. What's his name? Miami coach. Brian Flores. I already got in a thing, a suit against the all 32 teams and the owners for why the way they are black coaches. You finally get your opportunity to get, and you get a job and you go get Arbor House. You already got a pass. I see if he ain't have no pass. He got a pass. A bad one that no other college ever wanted him again. But you go dig him up. After what the hell you just seen Brian Flores go through and what you just said about what the Cleveland Browns did to you. And what Brian Flores is talking about is half ass true is what you said. But then you go do this shit. You get an opportunity to get, you get a job. How, whatever. First thing you're going to do is get our brows. You go dig him up out the ground, bro. Out of all the people that's out there that you know, you didn't want on your team. Think about that. Think about the kids at the school already. Think about the kids that's living rooms you're going to go recruit after they see this shit. Are they gonna play for you? Because of what you just did. Really? HBCU, our Browns, sexual allegations in Baylor in 2016. You go dig his ass about the ground and bring him over here to Grambling. And you think it was gonna be cool. You sound like Urban Meyer a little bit with your stupid ass. I don't even get. I don't even want to get why you even did that. I'm guessing you want to be successful or whatever. You can't find nobody to do that. So now you better go ask somebody else and they're going to feel the type of way because they're the number two pick. Again, you can be going in kids' locker. You can be going in kids' living room telling them how much you want them at your school, but you want to go hire this dude. Bro, my other thing was this one front in freaking face. Then you, you said, yeah, evidence of Cleveland Brown telling you to lose. Then you backpedal it on that. And then you gonna do this. Just shut your ass up, bro. You make us look bad. Just <laughs> keep it real. All those black and minority coaches out there, I hate that. I hate that fucking word, minority. All those black coaches out there. You were damn well other colors of y'all. Even other white coaches. You wouldn't have got all brows, bro, with a past. You ever set yourself up for failure? Just know that. Somebody had that job in two, three years. Moving on, we're going to talk about Russia. In 2022, starting a damn war with the Ukraine. What for the reason we don't know? But they never said nothing, but they over there anyway. Yes, in 2022, come out war. The box, heavily boxing champion. 
woman, everybody say, I mean, Vladimir Klitschko. 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 He's <laughs> the mayor of the Ukraine. His brother Vitaly was a boxer too. Went back to support his brother. Lomachenko, the boxer. Ukraine boxer, my bad. He went back. Now he armor fatigued up, ready to fight. And they said they're going to fight Russia ass back. A couple other cats that's over there too. Then we just have a winter living. The only winter living for like to stop this cold war or stop any kind of warship. Soon they was over, we go attack. We attack Ukraine. Just two weeks ago, they were giving out medals. <laughs> he go. But now, the eyes, the owl, the International Olympic Committee is asking Russia to remove Russia from FIFA. UE, FA, and ITF leagues. They all did that. They all responded. They removed them all. Russian athletes, women, and men, and officials are excluded from all international competition and events. Get y'all ass on. Take y'all ass back to USSR with that bullshit. P making jokes on World War III, but this shit almost real. He told me he got nukes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? High alert. What you doing, bro? Somebody take this dude for him. Have a boxing match. The best Russian gets the best Ukraine. Klitschko against Dragic. Drago, whatever his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Sit your ass down over there. Move it out. Trayvon Green is back at practice. The Warriors just dropped a 21 point lead to the Dallas Mavericks with nobody but Luka on that bitch. The unicorn is gone. It's just Luca or oh, Dean Witty. First off, Draymond Green is my favorite player in the league right now. He been for a lack of years. My favorite player of all time is Charles Barkley. I guess you see the resemblance. Go figure. Anyway, most of us see our important. Important in Draymond Green is that you see him last night in that 21 point lead that he lost and lose. That ain't the fact that he scores, he facilitates. Steph is Steph because of Draymond. Draymond, keep saying Draymond. Draymond. Steph is Steph because of Draymond Green. A lot of people don't think that, but yes. I can see the Warriors winning it. When Draymond get in game mode and he pass on that thing, he playing defense on the best play, he get in everybody's head, he locked and loaded. Can't nobody stop the war. Not even the 96 Bulls. The 96 Bulls can get some. But Draymond got a damn temper. Smart coach, a smart coach will get this a player to get in his head. Let him get it. Let his ass get into it with the refs. Get in his head, get him a couple tests, get him in five shots, get him out of the game. You can beat the Warriors. I'll let them shoot your ass out. But if Draymond locked and loaded, it might be game blouses. <laughs> but we gonna see. To the next one. Oh, the new dynamic duo, Embiid and Hard, the next Kobe and Shaq. No one take that back. I would never do Kobe or Shaq like that. <laughs> they got championship, these fools don't. But I'm going to give them their shot because they've been balling for the last two games. And everybody want to put them in the best dynamic duo in the league already. You just played the minute, you just played the Timberwolves and the Knicks, bro. Stop, Stop it! Even though you beat the shit out of both of them. Because James Harden just got a triple double, I think, the other day. 29, 10, and 16, and 5 still. James Harden, 39 minutes. MB, 36 minutes, 37 and 9. Four blocks. Tobias, 12 and 5. Tyrese Maxey is the one that's benefiting off his, his trade the most with, with James Harden. The dude got 21 a day. He had 28 the other night against Minnesota. They beat Minnesota by 31. 
They beat the Knicks hit by 20, what? 17? <laughs> beat that ass too. Well, look, man. They, that little high pick and roll they got, that's, that shit go hard. It's hard in the first 76ers since Allen Iverson 25 years ago. With 15, 10, and 5 in the first half. Damn hard. He just got it, y'all. He just got there. <laughs> I know I've been calling him being a clown over the last couple times. People listen to the podcast. He is. I ain't changing my mind. Like <laughs> shit. But it's like, he actually been balling this shit. He ain't been doing all that flop and whining and shit. He kind of like shut his ass up and went out there and played and see, you see what the difference is. I like James Harden, but he's a choker. You're a damn choker. We gonna see how that, I mean, it's, nah, it is. Regular season is cool. You gonna play everybody seven games in a row. Can you play a team seven games in a row? You gotta make your judgments every game, you will see. Then we'll see. They gonna make it look good. Like I said, Tyree Maxson would benefit the most out of this James Harden trade. And he is balling it up, but I see it's a choke job coming, bro. Choke job better make James Harden throw it on me, too. Stay posted. <laughs> I'm going to keep you posted. Trust me. Moving on to Jamal Rant. The Memphis Grizzlies. Third in, third in the West, bro. The Warren just lost. They just won. Jump Rant just laid 52 on these food. On the Spurs, bro. 22 points in the pack. Drama Rant. Put some respect on the Memphis Grizzlies tonight. Now, Memphis Grizzlies is in the fighting Jama Rants. Put some respect on that name. And don't make me gotta address this shit again. Memphis is ready. That young team is real. That, that's ready to play. John Moran has arrived. Dude, real talk, he my overall MVP for right now. For the rest of the whole season, so far. He my MVP. I don't give a damn about LeBron. I know Steph broke that damn record, but if you been playing like shit, John Moran on my big assistant. Dude been balling. He dropped 46 on the Bulls. And they won at the Bulls. It's six 40 point games in the regular season in, in Memphis history. Six games. He got four. But now he got five because he got 50 to 52 point game. His first ever 50 point, 50 point player game. Memphis Williams. Shout out John Morant. New career high. Then he's dumb. Oh, I've I'm, I'm got to do it now. I know he's going to get somebody. <laughs> John Morant. Boy, y'all better watch out, son, jazz. The whole league, y'all, better, y'all don't know this. And all they doing is balling. They ain't talking about shit. They just balling. They think of the microphone and John Morant face. He ain't looking for it. He's saying the right things. Pay attention. Memphis Grizzly, bro. Memphis, hey, take y'all ass to the game. Y'all finally got a team and they winning. Take y'all ass to the game. Y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> Ice trade drop 41 on Toronto. Toronto just beat the devil trash out of the Nets without Kyrie, of course. Trey Young came 40 point game of the season of his career, sorry, not of the season. This I heard about this is what I heard about Atlanta. Trey. <laughs> They're ready. They got a bomb shop in that mother. In the arena. So you can go get a haircut during the game. So after the game, if you go into the club, I guess. Is that what the hell is it now for? A barbershop in the arena. I can check that out when I go. <laughs> Give me a line up on the way to Magic City. <laughs> Shout out to Ice Trick. We want to carry Irving. Being able to play in Brooklyn. 
Cause we dropped 38 on the books the other day. He didn't play tonight and they got their ass blasted. No James Harden. They got Seth Curry. Go wrong. Let's try this now. Old protege. The Nash, he was out also. Protocol, I guess COVID. KD will be back soon. Ben Simmons, whenever the hell he coming back. They should have a little squad going. I think they want to trade. I mean, James Harden, James Harden, come on. I think they want to trade, though. But Curry and Simmons coming over. And Drummond. Joe Harris. Whenever the hell he coming back. Is he even on the team? Is he in Portland with Zion? I ain't seen that dude in the bubble. <laughs> so whatever he gets back, in, got a squad. Still think New York. I still think that New York COVID mandate shit on in that season. In the beginning of the season. Because Kyrie would have been there. The Nets told him to go away because he until he was with the word present of whatever it was. Basically vaccinated, and he didn't do it. So that, the mandate messed up their season. Not Kyrie's vaccination presence. Remember that. There's a difference. And remind some of y'all, Kyrie won. He chose to get vaccinated, and he didn't. He stood his ground. Everybody in the tan, all the, everybody in the news media tan, tearing Kyrie ass up. Now look, you better get your home game in Brooklyn and in New York with the Knicks. I still love vaccinated. Shut y'all ass up. <laughs> How we won? And the New York City Mayor is right. He might. He right. The New York City Mayor is correct. You can't sit out the wrong places by letting one by flipping that man even one person. You can't do that. I get that. He even said he want to see Kyrie, bro. But he won a championship in New York. But I understand what you're doing because they just let how many thousand nurses go quit their job because they want to get vaccinated. I wish you would let Kyrie play. That will burn New York to the ground. All them nurses out of their job. Pay attention to that, man. But they're going to end up letting him play. He didn't get vaccinated. Now, what are they going to do with all them nurses? I forgot your number. But they lost their job because of this vaccination. Get your ass out that shit, man. They gonna pass it. Here come Kyrie. Moving it up. Yeah. You gotta talk about your legs. <laughs> they lost to the Pelicans, bro. 123 at 95. 32 point blowout by the Pelicans. The team they traded. 900 people too by Anthony Davis. 23 turnovers. 16 turnovers in the first half. Seven by Westbrook. Seven by LeBron. But you see, they ain't say shit about that shit. Because him and LeBron are tired about turnovers. We was leading. They all up in Westbrook. Westbrook got three turnovers. But LeBron got the same amount of turnovers. He don't hear shit now. Well, LeBron got his points. That's all he's going to do because he's trying to chase Kareem. Pay attention. Ain't no outrage when LeBron section was on Twitter either. Lead the team, lead the team in turnover for the game. I don't, I don't do nothing. Getting booed at home in LA, bro. By your own band in the third quarter. <laughs> Not the fourth, the third. They played last night the dang kill no more. But at least Mark didn't have a damn point. But LeBron will get his stats though. He gonna get his. All those losses in the finals, all those losses in the regular season, he don't care. He been walk back to come in of playing with the Lakers. You know what he said? You got it, you got it, but Cleveland got all comfortable on one play with my son. Oh, you still in LA, huh? So he had to walk that back. <laughs> you told the truth? Even looking good again. Now you gonna take your ass back. 
I want to be able to live as long as possible. He ain't saying forever. As long as possible. You sound dedicated to the Lakers. Ben Simmons to the 76. Miss me with that shit. Ingram. DJ McCullough. Lit that ass up. Let go of these stats real quick, bro. Check these out. In the third quarter, Pelicans got 44 points. Lakers 25. In the first two quarters, Lakers got 20 points both quarters. 24 first quarter for the Pelicans, 27 for the second quarter for the Pelicans. Come on now. CJ McCollum, 22, 5 and 8. LeBron, 32, 6 and 3. 51 points, 51 rebounds versus 38 rebounds. Okay. 12 offensive rebounds for the Pelicans. 29 assists. 16 steals. All these for the Pelicans. 15 turnovers for the Pelicans. 20, 23 of course for the Lakers. 56 points in the paint. 26 fast break points. 25 points off turnover. 32 point lead is the biggest lead the Pelicans had over the Lakers, bro. Are you fucking serious? Seven three-pointers by the Lakers. 13 by the Pelicans. Ah, uh, LeBron. Valentino is at 19 and 10. Jackson Hayes, 11. Bro, McCollum, 22. Ingram, 19. They was... Where the Lakers at? The White House had six. We used to have two. Westbrook had 16. Ariza, three. Horton took a five. More than half. Shit. 24 minutes. Zero fucking points. 0 for 2 for 3. And open five for the field. With one personal foul. So you just out there. Two steals. One foul, one, one assist. One block. Get your ass off the court. What you doing? <laughs> Bruh. Baseball, three point. DeAndre Jordan, two point. Get the... Let Westbrook be Westbrook, bro. He ain't Westbrook. That's why y'all in y'all ass work. And then they think he's not the answer. He gonna come back. He ain't the answer, bro. They still be losing with this nigga in the game. The Pelicans? No Zion. No ball. <laughs> no Josh Hart. Valley Judas. CJ McCall. But CJ ain't no scrub. What I'm just saying. Top, you got four. Top 75 players on your squad. Three of them on the court. And you do the CJ, Valentunis, Jackson Hayes, Brandon Ingram, Tony Snell. No shot at them, I'm just saying. These nine people don't know who they are, but you know who LeBron James is. And Russell Westbrook. And Carmelo Anthony. And the White Howard. And Trevor Ariza. You know all, who all them people are. And Malik Monk. Bruh. DeAndre, you know all these people are. They ain't getting their ass beat. <laughs> like this. <laughs> you can't ever laugh at it. I mean, I'm still like you all day, but bruh, I, I ain't cheering. I'm not cheering. They didn't cheer, bro. You can plan for the play in game like that's something, but that's nothing. I'd rather you tell me you chase Kareem. Didn't do that. But whatever. At the Lakers, y'all. 27 and 33 on the season. Lost 14 of the last 29th in the West. If there was no playing game, they'll be out the motherfucking playoffs. They keep losing, they're gonna be out there playing game. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> I 
I would like for everybody. Thank you everybody for tuning in. As always, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at U D All Stars at U D A L L S T A R Z at U D All Stars U D A L L S T A R Z. Follow me at Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at U D A L L S T A R Z. U D All Stars. <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube page where you want to see all this deliciousness <laughs> at the Undrafted All Stars Podcast Show. If you on the go, you want to listen to me, my country ass, subscribe and listen to the Undrafted All Stars on the Anchor app, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast. We are there. Look us up. Last but not least. Tagline way bigger than sports, no matter motherfucking what. Way bigger than sports. Then I drafted all stars podcast show. I am your host, I am Big Shook, aka Sugar Dosha the Great, aka Mr. Tell Your Friends About Me. I'm chilling in the hooch and I'm out of here. Y'all have a great motherfucking week and I'm out. Episode 30, happy black history month.